What's up everybody? I'm back. Long time no see. Well, as you can see, we're on the road. First day of my little sabbatical, I guess you could call it. Quit my job. Gonna do some fishing. It's been a long year. I'm ready to uh, actually enjoy and take in some fall fishing. Today is the coldest it's been yet. Below freezing, low mid 20s. We got us some bait. We got a couple rods rigged up. Give her a try, gonna pitch some jigs with some minnows on the bottom. Uh, maybe throw some plastics for some walleyes. We'll just have to see what today brings, but I've got a good feeling. Yeah, hopefully I can get it done. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Ryan, this is Bombin' Baits. Love everything about fishing the outdoors. This is the channel for you. If you've been following for a while and you haven't subscribed, go down there and smash the old subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Enough talking, enough screwing around. Let's get uh, let's keep rolling down the old highway. We should be there soon and hopefully we'll catch some fish. Well, we just got we just got to our uh, spot here and pulled up and seen a uh, family down there and they've just landed two walleyes at the same time so that's a good sign uh, I'm gonna get you strapped down we're gonna walk down there and get to do some fishing so here, here we go a little live bait action we're just gonna let it kind of drift down Whenever it stops, it's hopping along. We'll occasionally let it pause for a second and we'll pop it up. It is slightly deeper over here. They're in the best spot over there, but we're gonna give her the old try for a few more minutes and we gotta go pick up Little Man. We'll regroup and maybe try this tomorrow. do is you don't want to let a bunch of slack in your line you just want to pitch it out damn it and just keep walking it along the rock like right now there's rock bottom you can feel it but you just you just want to keep it going Let it drift down the current. Today is not my day. But it's also the reality of fishing. I can't catch them all the time. Try a couple other different tactics here. There we go. Ha, ah, look at that. I can't catch a fish. And it's a, a walleye and it's a decent one. Hell yeah. And guess what guys? It's bigger than what they're catching down there. For sure. For sure. Good healthy 16 incher with moments to spare. He's gonna taste good tonight. Yes, he is. Cool. And then the 
the other one and put a slip bobber on. there mint let's check this live bait right here and we'll pull out that oh it's got a fish on it oh I'm awesome Cool. Got one on the old Andy rig. <clears throat> Good 16 incher. No, oh, he might be 16 and a half. It's a good fish. Well, he didn't throttle that bait, that's for sure. Beautiful looking fish, though. Love the colors on this fish. He's going to taste phenomenal tonight. Good quality eater. We'll take those all day. So we've currently caught one on a slip bobber. Caught one on a Lindy rig. I'll show you my setup here. So I got one of these cheap Eagle Claw sliding clips here and a barrel swivel then a leader of about oh foot and a half two feet and then number two octopus hook it's just a great hook size for a number of different size fish but Awesome. And then we just uh, a lip hook, a minnow on that, and toss it out. Just uh, gives that bait uh, a little bit. Of room to swim. I'm running about a half ounce weight right now because of the current. Being right below this dam is kind of the old current's kind of pumping a little hard here. I'm just throwing it out there just off of the out there right about right out in the middle of the Slack out. So there's tension. Cool, perfect. It's all uh, what you gotta do. Just keep an eye on your rod tip. 
with a tight line you'll be able to notice when you have a bite that time he must have just sat there with it in his mouth for a while normally what they'll do though they'll hit her pretty hard or they'll just pick it up and then take off running with it but sometimes they'll sit there and if you're not paying attention like I wasn't there then you will miss a fish Now I'm not actually it's not actually doing much of any reeling here. All I'm doing is just letting that bait drift down current and I'm just keeping tension on the reeling the slack out, keeping tension on the line so I can tell when I get a bite. Just letting the current do all the work. Basically when this bait's floating by that, drifting by that fish, it's giving him a split second to think about whether or not he wants to eat it. Usually what that does is that it'll entice a bite. We might have one on here already. Wait for him to take another go at it. Got him. Sweet. I think that float made the difference. Boys and girls, it was immediate. Ooh, what do we got here? Feels good. Pulling a little bit of drag. Is it a small jaw? Nope, it's another great walleye. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Awesome. Another phenomenal eater. Wow. What a great fish. Aren't they just gorgeous? Nice and healthy. Haha. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we got uh, two with a Lindy rig now and one, one with a slip bobber. And we get uh, two more and we'll be limited out for the day. We'll have to head home. Very, very cool. Nice stringer of walleyes there. Awesome, awesome. Now as far as where to cast these things, you really just got to kind of know, get a lay of the land to where your little deep spots are. And just something you'll figure out. I occasionally, I'm not going to fish the same spot over and over and over and over again. I mean, these fish are on the move a lot around in here, so you just got to try a few different areas and if you continue to fish, catch fish in the same spot, then, well, then you'll know, but... like a small jaw, acting like a small jaw. It is a small mouth. Small, small mouth. Really like these pink jigs. All right, I'm gonna go big or go home here. We're gonna rig up a uh, our 
we jerry rigged our own little stinger set up here. Haha. <laughs> go big or go home. That's what we got. That's what we're using. See what happens. There we go, hooked up. That's a better fish. Heck yeah. <laughs> Throttled it. Please be a stud. Staying down. What do we got? Heck of a nice fish. Nice. This guy here is a tad too big for me to keep, I think. Hell, he didn't even need the stinger. Tad too big. Cool. All right, buddy. Awesome. First fall fish of the year on a creek chub. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you watching till the end. I hope this video was helpful to you. You guys learned something about Lindy rigging uh, on a river. There really isn't much out there for videos. I hope this little bit was enough to help you out hopefully you learned something hopefully you can use it and go out there and catch some fish once again don't screw around smash the subscribe button tell your friends let's spread the word grow the channel till next time peace